Hi, welcome to Walking with Jesus. With your host, Gloria Russell, Sherilyn Bass, and, and Jacqueline, Jacqueline Watkins. Watkins. What's your name, girl? Jacqueline Watkins. Jackie. 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 Jacqueline Watkins. Jackie. Yes. And it's always a pleasure for us to, you know, to come and, you know, share with y'all um, some of the our experiences in life. And um, Jackie, why are you laughing? Tell me. <laughs> anyway, thank you again for watching Walking with Jesus. And we appreciate you joining us every week. And I pray that whatever is said today, that you'll be blessed by it. And uh, we're just going to talk about, what are we going to talk about, my darling sister? If Jesus were to come to your yes. house today, what would he find you doing? Mm -hmm. yeah. What is it you would have to store away, turn off, hide away, um, hang the phone up, turn off the TV, that DVD player, the, <laughs> our producer's eye it just, just flew out of his face. <laughs> I wonder why. But yeah, and now he's scratching his head. <laughs> so that is a thought. If Jesus were to yes, walk into your yes, house right now, Lord, what is it that he would find Lord. that is pleasing to him or that might not be pleasing what, to him? What would be offensive to him? Would he be able to join right in? Right. Would he be able to and and turn around and leave? What would he do? What is it? And that stuff does yes. leave you there. And uh, talking to the believers out there, uh -huh. what is it that he would yes. find? Oh my word. I'm beginning yeah, to we think don't have to on, talk on ourselves. We're just talking, yeah. I'm beginning yes. to think like that is something really, really it deep. Is. Mm -hmm. That's deep. What would he find you doing? Just take a well, moment to ponder to look around your house. I have <laughs> there are times, like I remember several times I said, Lord, please don't come now because I'm too mad. You just can't come now. But that don't mean I would go to hell. This yes. Is, I, why you say that? No sin can enter. <laughs> That's right. No. You say be I, angry with sin not. Oh, yeah. and then if, I, if I'm going to tell him, don't come now because I'm cause you know you're not right. I'm about to sit exactly. right up there. Because, right. you know, I'm not taking this mess no more. You know, I'll get, I've mm -hmm. heard you're people right. say, I heard people say, no, I've never done this because I think it's ridiculous. I'm going to put my Bible down for you. I mean, you might live and not <laughs> to pick it back up. Yeah, so I'm not talking about it, but there, honestly, there were times when, and I, 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 you know, I always think about that, that question, what you just said, and even in church, mm -hmm. you know, and that's why I don't believe in going to church late because I figure if he show up, you say church start 11 and, you, and he show up 11 and church in start and he only planned to be there till 11 15 and he gone and i think about stuff like that i do but too because yeah. i i believe that when we ask god or when we tell god when we agree with god mm -hmm. that we're going to be doing a certain thing for him at a certain hour mm -hmm. he shows up at and that point in time yeah and then if we are late then it takes so much more of pressing towards God in order for his presence to be known or to be felt. You know, you know, and I know we're talking about what would Jesus find you doing or what would he find in your home if he visits you. But also, um, there are people who, if you know Jesus was coming to church, right? In the flesh. How would you present would yourself? You, or would you go to church on time? So, if you know the king or the queen were coming or the president was coming to your church, would you you would be there to get a good seat. You would be there. You know stuff and that's amazing. I'll put that um the king, queen and Jesus in a different category because if Jesus coming, God coming to church and everybody knows that you might think everybody's gonna show up to they church won't. in your time. They I won't. think Some no. the church only probably will have like ten people. <laughs> yeah, because they, they know Jesus <laughs> is gonna be there. Mm -hmm. But how but because a lot of people not ready to change their lives. Oh. And the and fear of being in sin. Yeah. Instead of repenting before they like get that. there. Oh. Yeah, I'm telling you. It's, I never did that. Sin is something else. Wow. But anyway. Separates you from God. What would Jesus find me doing in my house? I'm going to talk about me. And I'm going to be honest. Should I give you the negative or the positive first? Both. Which one? First? Mix it up. No. no. Positive first. Negative first. 
<laughs> Why does this is dirty? <laughs> okay. Why the dishes dirty, right? Mm -hmm. Basically, that's probably. Wow, what else? That's it. Well, no, I I have to tell the truth. So, but I have to. Maybe it's nothing. But there are things that bothers me. But I don't think that's a sin. No, but I'm talking yeah, about the environment. But, but my environment. I mean, like me out of out of um being angry and stuff. That's the that's I get upset a lot of times when if I go in the kitchen in the morning, and honestly, and the dishes is not clean. And um, it bothers me, but it really bothers me. I know one time I threw butter across the room anyway, melted butter all over the wall. But um, he would find me for honestly, honestly, I don't watch secular TV with profanity or anything that the Lord hates. See, I got the anointing that is in me as a believer. Mm -hmm. And I don't want the Holy Spirit to leave me. And I, I'm thinking he's there and I'm going through the motion and stuff. And all the while, he has already left and I don't even know. And then there's a scripture what keeps me in check is when he said, when calamity hits you, I would laugh at you. Mm -hmm. Understand? So that means that I have to stay, I have to stay. Be mindful. Yeah, be mindful that whatever I do, it's acceptable to God. So in my house, honestly, my children my grandchildren who be there young as they are they know they can't watch certain things on tv a lot of the cartoons they can't watch we don't watch no sitcoms in our house the the new ones we watch fred sanford and you know some of them old ones but but they have to be clean and and back in the days they used to have these sitcoms used to talk a lot about jesus they used to talk about god they used to be in church I don't know if you're familiar with those ones, mm -hmm. and um, I don't want to call all the names of them, but 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 some of them are clean shows, and that's what we watch. We don't watch a lot of the cartoons, like I say, anything that has fairy tales in it, or chanting, or warlock, or wizards and stuff, we don't watch in our house, okay? Every night, my children, every day, we read, and I would ask them. I have two of my sons still home, and I would ask them every now and then, when last did you read your Bible? And they would say, well, this, this morning or last night. So in our house, and like they, like I told you, we don't watch that anything that has profanity or any, you know, the seven things that God hates. Mm -hmm. If God don't like adultery, why, why would I sit down and watch it? At least that's how I feel, mm -hmm. okay? He don't like lying. I don't watch anything that is the, the character, the main character is a liar or the main character is, is molest children or the main character is having an, an affair or I don't watch stuff like that it doesn't it doesn't entertain me okay and um, we read our Bible we pray and I watch Christian TV now not all Christian TVs I watch either because some of them to me is worse than worldly stuff because some of the things that they believe and what they say I don't want it in my spirit but in my house I watch I we listen to gospel music and we watch biblical stuff, even if it's not a church service. We watch, we watch, you know, stuff mm -hmm. like that. And we be careful how we talk to each other, how we treat each other. And I'm always speaking. I speak love in this house today. I speak peace in this house. I speak salvation. I speak contentment. I speak joy. I so speak. Wait. So you're saying if God walks into your house today, He would be pleased? I think so. Okay. I but oh yes, I really believe that. Okay. Even I uh, um um yes and the, you know yeah he I think he would because like I say even the children they know mm -hmm. okay oh don't you don't that's demonic at one time I remember my sister Lydia she told me and I watched Benny Hinn one years ago and he was talking about some of the things that we have in our homes that is not pleasing to God you know you it doesn't represent him so you take it away so I remember. When we go to Burger King and stuff and you get the kids' toys when the new movies come out and these characters and stuff, they give you with the toy, the, the, the kids' meal. meal. My children will come straight home and throw it in the garbage. Okay, because it's demonic, they call it. Because that's how we train that we, you know, for my sister Lydia. I remember she took all the stuff on her garage. I don't know if it was a big thing about that. It, it was, anyway, but she did that and I started doing it and we don't have no kind of character toys. What 
was in any fairy tale movies or stuff, and I would never go to Disney World. I've never been. Some of my kids went, but I would never go because why would I want to be there? I mean, I know a lot of Christians go there, but I don't want to go because the, the, the entertainment is not conducive. It's not. Okay. It's I not, understand what you're saying. And to each his but own. But that's my house. Right. That's what yes, I'm saying. To each yes. his own. Um, I respect you for the way you are convicted to run your house. And thank God for those who have conviction, godly conviction, mm -hmm. on running their, their houses and have it to be a place where God can come in mm -hmm. and he can get to the door and not turn around because you have to hide the newspaper or get off the phone or whatever the case may be mm -hmm. because we are talking about this topic for the mere fact that we should be mindful of our surroundings. Mm -hmm. uh, our surroundings mm -hmm. has the ability to infect mm -hmm. our Christianity, yes. affect our lifestyle when it comes to God. What we expose ourselves to is what we become. And if we continuously yes. um, exposing the spirit of God to all of these things that's not conducive to a healthy, mm -hmm. godly Spiritual relationship, life, holy living, holy living. then we are basically aborting the ministry. Mm -hmm. And when I say aborting the ministry, the gifts and everything that God has within us that he wants to develop, it's a war. We're, we're exposing ourselves to so many things that it doesn't have time to develop. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have time to develop. So yeah we need to be very very careful of what we expose ourselves to mm -hmm. what we allow to come into our homes even with the um the movies like freddy cougar mm -hmm. and all those other movies we're allowed to enter in just how we allow this presence of god if you're praying in your house mm -hmm. and you feel the presence of god i believe it's the same thing if we're watching things oh, yeah. on tv mm -hmm. or we're opening our spirits to things that is not godly yes those yes. same spirits not Open only come into our yeah. homes but they come into us because yeah. we have that door yes, that's open. Yes. What would you say? You're right. You're right. It's, sometimes it's easy to um, get caught up yes. watching things that's not appropriate. That's mm -hmm. right. Um, for some people, mm -hmm. because you will watch a movie and it doesn't say anything about, you know, it's going to have certain language and stuff yeah, in it that okay. is not appropriate. Mm -hmm. They will, um, some movies will say it, but some mm -hmm. things that they will they, not call yes. um, a okay. la language. It is nowadays. It is. Now it is. It is. It is. And then that world is not. Mm -hmm. right. So they wouldn't rate it, um, a, you know, in an offense for us to know that it's, it's just, it yeah. can be yes. offensive right. because it's normal, it's natural right. The moral to standards most have dropped. Yes. Exactly, yes. So there's yeah. certain movies you will let it, or you will say, you'll just, you'll read it and I say, okay, you could watch this. And if mm -hmm. you walk in the door and you're like, what? Wow. Mm -hmm. Why are you watching yeah. this? Like, oh, so you said rated, I could watch mm -hmm. it. It's rated parental guy. Yeah, yeah because of the standards. The so standards back has changed. changed. Like, yeah, like back in the days, a PG was a really clean movie. Whoa! Well, yeah, you know, general, not really. You're in general no. audience. No G. G. That's what you PG said. Parental. Oh, PG parental. Parental guidance. Yeah, still a little yeah. parental. But today, the G is probably where the PG is. Used to used be. Used to be. Yes. Wow. And the the G is probably where X X X used to be. <laughs> because it is true. You just don't know what to even turn yeah. the TV on anymore because you go to sleep thinking that you're. It's just a clean something and then you wake up at night and you hear words in your head like oh wait hold up oh and also we sleep with music mm -hmm. instrumental spiritual music on or worship music in our house we sleep like that as long as it's recorded because if you put it on a regular station you never know what it's going to i help. put it on youtube Oh. Yeah, we do that yeah, too. YouTube, we, we actually because yeah. you could put in whatever in hours seven, nine, twelve hours. Yes, we, we do that also. We, we yeah, sleep I with do that. Yes, our gospel music mm -hmm. on where it feeds our spirit. Yes, right. we're, we're we sharing don't sleep all of this TV. Mm -hmm. with you we all, sleep. but at the same time, know that we are not perfect. That's right. But we are striving to perfection, mm -hmm. and sometimes it's not the grand scope of what you do that propels you into your greatness is the little tiny steps right. that you take constantly consistently mm -hmm. when you fall you brush yourself yes. off mm -hmm. you dust yourself yeah. off 
and you start all over again. Mm -hmm. So if you are the one that watches porn and you are saved, I'm not saying that you're not because you can be saved and yeah, still do a whole right. lot of things. That's and right. just don't be comfortable within the no, things okay. that you do that is not conducive to your yes, your yes. growth in God. Right. Or not Christ-like. Uh, not Christ-like. You, you need to hold so, living, yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. So if you are that one that is maybe addicted to the porn or profanity is your your right. your way of gossiping. speaking mm -hmm. or gossiping is what you do best but you're uh -huh. still proclaiming proclaiming to be a child of god just wake up in the morning and say you know what i am not gonna do right. that today purpose in your heart purpose in your heart take baby steps and it will surprise you eventually that's right you won't have a taste for porn or you won't want to just automatically just open your mouth and you start to to cut somebody you know a little bit of discipline and matter of fact promise yourself talk to yourself yeah. in the mirror before you get started say you know what i am going to do my best not to cuss today mm -hmm. i'm going to do my best not to get on the phone and talk about my neighbor slander today like, slander mm -hmm. somebody today and Gorgeous. just take the baby steps so if god decides to come into your house then he will be welcome it will not be a place where he is uncomfortable yes oh lord and we all need the spirit of god to dwell within our homes to dwell within us but there's no dwelling place for him if our dwelling place is full of what corruption and what unholiness. else unholiness and lying and <laughs> all the lust of the flesh stuff exactly yeah, yes. you know it's so funny you're talking and i could see um say jesus, jesus walking into your house and you're like yeah jesus <laughs> sister so and so you need she needs you back she did and she did you're telling jesus about this person about everybody else except yourself in your house right you know and you might be sitting you know, on that magazine while i'm trying to tell jesus about somebody else and you know you're what trying to get him yeah. His oh, line off for you. Or yes. the other way around, that's what you was doing before he came in. Mm -hmm. And when he came in, to you house. act like you was always perfect. A lot of us Can don't, I tell you don't, don't check on, we don't check ourselves to see. We know everything that we should do. We know everything it's that true. people are not yeah. doing. But we don't think about the oh, things shit. that we, we, have, should be doing. we should be doing. Check ourselves. Can I, can I confess something to y'all? No. No? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When my grandma, grandma, my grandma, mommy, mommy. She came, she was coming to the house to visit, right? So she came to our house and um, I mean, we were Christians, but you know, not like, listen, that was the worst six days of my life. Oops. You know why? Honestly, we was trying so hard to make, and she was so happy. We wanted her to feel really, really good. So we, we were tired. It was, it was, it was tiresome trying to act or pretend every day. The children had to, it was like, we was like quiet children. I like, it was serious. We, we had to, we was praying constantly. They was tired praying. We was reading our Bibles and I think it was summer break. So everyone was home. Tired reading the Bible and Rana feasting. saying, Grandma, tell us a story that a night, um, cause I had them program, program yeah, when she came. We was massaging her feet and catering to her. We really treat her really, really good. But we gave her the spiritual part. It was, nothing was lacking. And she was, she called me Wernie. She said, Wernie, you really is a virtuous woman. God, and I felt so bad. Cause we was, we really, 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 pretending. really was pretending. I'm not lying. You know, but I don't, I don't, we don't do that no more. I don't know. I share that with you because I mean, I, I, I think that, um, it's just that you wanted her to be yes, happy. I, you know yes. how our grandmother was. Yes. She was a godly woman. She was a woman that always had her Bible. Yes. I cannot Singing think about songs. I wish one of her songs. Can't remember none of Grammy songs. It was On the wings of a snow, snow white, white dove. dove. I don't really know. On the wings of a snow white dove, I said I don't know. I don't know, but she had many of them, and I guess that's why we don't know which one to sing. But and they were like really, really old songs. She had this little book about two inches thick. 
it was like the name of it, it was six, a sex. It was small, and I wonder who had that. And she used to sing out of that book, and um, um, I was really blessed every time I was in her presence, of course. And so, and everything about Grammy was was God. And there, so you can live a godly life. My grandmother said that her husband died when she was thirty-four, I think, I think so. and she never married again. And or dated. My, yes, and my Grammy lived a really godly, holy life, and we can do it too, you know. We can, when Jesus walked into her house, he all he saw was himself. Her sitting hallelujah, in the Bible on her Jesus, lap. hallelujah. Thank you, God. When the Lord look at you, what do you want him to see? Yeah, what, what does he see? Would he say, oh my God, look at my child. She had all my I want him to character. see himself in me. Yes. Yeah. And that's wonderful. What do you yeah. want Jesus to look at? Look at my baby. Like how our dad is doing. Look, you know, he, oh, look at my baby. I love my children. You know, I really love. He really, he milked, he milked that, you know. And I, I believe when the Lord look at us, if he come to visit your house and he see, it don't have to be perfect, but at least you, you're trying. You know, he, I think he honors that, and he will bless your home, bless your your children and your your health and your finances. I really believe that because that's where he lives. If he lives there, don't you think he would want the best for his environment? Mm -hmm. Don't will. you think it will be free from sicknesses and diseases and trauma? And I'm not talking totally free, but you know what I'm. I don't know. Yes, maybe I'm, I'm not making he sense. He will be comfortable. Yeah, there. and then you know the peace. Sorry, peace. What we were talking about. Mm -hmm. Even in the midst of turmoil, God is there. When the when the disciples was on the boat and the the wind, and Jesus was in the ship also, and the wind was contrary, and they, he woke up and he he was there, and they was going through. So not because you're going through, if you're going through, that doesn't mean that he's, not, he's there. not there. Right. You know, he, you know. So keep the environment Just call calm. Just yeah. call it. Mm -hmm. I really, Lord, I love you and I appreciate your goodness, and I thank you, God. And I want God to help us to be um, found worthy to escape the wrath that is to come upon the world. That's that's in the Bible. Yes. You know. And how will you escape? Mm -hmm. You escape by by um, living right, living holy. You know. And and don't let the Bible say, don't be deceived. God is not mocked. Mm -hmm. Whatever a man sow, that what he would reap. That's what he's gonna reap. You don't force the Holy Spirit to sit down and watch profanity. Have some respect for the Spirit of God. You don't sit down and and and, and let him um 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 in any environment that you know places. There are places where you can't control mm -hmm. where you go. There's sometimes when you go, you can't control stop your ear from hearing. Mm -hmm. God understands that. Right. But when it's in your power to do so, He expects you to do it. I was, as you was talking, I was just thinking um, about so many times we say and think we know God mm -hmm. and we fear God. Mm -hmm. But if we really have fear oh, of God, we would not we'll do, do so many things. It's, oh my Lord, and if we really so think true. about Him and really stay prayed up and our mind on Him, then mm -hmm. we will realize that, hey, there's I a lot some, going yes, on in yes. my house that's not supposed to be going oh, on Jesus, because we so will true. like we'll realize that hey he's here, but we don't see God being right there because our natural eyes don't see him. Mm -hmm. that's but as Christians, we're supposed to see him in the spirit and mm -hmm. feel him in the spirit inside our homes and to help protect us not only from other oh, people yeah. on the outside coming in mm -hmm. doing damage yeah, but I said I said to myself years ago if I really know God mm -hmm. I will always be mindful hallelujah of what I'm doing in my yes surroundings. oh my lord that's a that's mm -hmm. a so always always and that's and how even I feel. when I pray mm -hmm. I pray mm -hmm. I for me when God don't answer me I feel like he's saying wait, mm -hmm. and his wait might be years, mm -hmm. and I'd be like, okay, that's it. But I realize that it doesn't make sense to pray if you don't believe. Right, well, that's and have right. patience right. to wait. And have patience to wait, because yes. when I pray, I pray to you God, something. And, you know, in, in, in Jesus' name, because I know. Mm -hmm. That he could hear me. Mm -hmm. It's not just I believe it. I know. Yes, it's that true. he could yes. hear me, and he can answer me 
if he wants to. Mm. And I he doesn't owe me any money. Exactly. That's something that he could ask if he wants to. Yes. Because he made me. Yes. He put me in the family that I'm placed in and mm -hmm. I am so grateful for that. Mm -hmm. And I am say I look at myself, mm -hmm. sometimes even the way I shape, mm -hmm. I like Lord, I'm grateful. Yes, mm -hmm. that's true. Sometimes you may not have the things that you think you should have at a particular time, but we all have to always be grateful because we have more than so many other yes, people. Yes, that's mm -hmm. true. Mm -hmm. That's true. You know, and then we be we 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 are so ungrateful. That's another thing we have to talk about. Mm -hmm. How ungrateful mm -hmm. oh, we are. The Bible says we have to always be mindful to give thanks and all things. Because years ago, mm -hmm. I realized. When you open up your eyes, who promised you mm. that you're going to be in the land of the living? Wow. When you try to stand up, yeah. how do you know the ground is not going to get up? I'm go, just going to yeah. Yeah, move from under you. Mm. How do you know your limbs going to work? Mm -hmm. We don't know that mm -hmm. stuff. And God still, even in our wickedness and our uh, disobedience, He grant us favor. Yes. Grace. And, he, and grace and, and mercy. mercy. And he allowed those limbs and everything else to just That's fall true. in place. And instead of giving him thanks for all those little things, great things, but still little to us, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. instead of giving him thanks and praise mm -hmm. for that, we look at all the what's other wrong? negative yes, things. Oh, what's what's wrong? What we yes. don't have? Yes. What's going on in our life? Mm -hmm. He did this. He said this. He's just stop sometimes yes. and say, Lord, yeah. I'm just grateful yes. for your blessing. You are I'm so grateful right. because so I'm alive and I'm right. well. Right. Yes. Right. I can walk. Sunday, yes. Uh, Monday morning, mm -hmm. I was actually brushing Excellent. my teeth. It's yeah. like God always trying to talk to me when I'm in the bathroom. <laughs> Let me take That's that back. Place. Not try to. He talks yeah. to me because God never tries oh, he, to he, do yes, anything. He, try, he yeah. does it. Mm -hmm. I was brushing my teeth, mm -hmm. and all at once, I just got that that realization that all of my children are gainfully oh, employed. Hallelujah. Yeah. I say I have a job. My husband have a job. All the kids have jobs. I said, God, thank you. That's right. And then I thought Jesus. about how you were just saying how the things that we, that is so yeah. grand to us still, that we take for granted. Mm -hmm. We don't yes. have the the audacity or the manners mm -hmm. or the respect to say, God, thank Jesus. you yeah. that my children are gainfully employed. Thank you that I have a place that I can go and, and, and get a check every two weeks. You know, instead we wake up in the morning like, oh God, I can't believe we got to go to work today. Instead of saying, you know what, mate, that's and how then I when feel. You job, be like, Lord, exactly. Job. Yeah. But I'm gonna thank you anyways. I'm gonna go. And I think those are the days when we have the best days at work. Mm -hmm. When we just say, God, I acknowledge you. Yes. Because you are all powerful. You allow me to have this job. How many people don't have jobs? Yeah. You know, my head was hurting me one morning. I said, God, my head hurt. Thank you that my legs not hurt. That's true, man. Yeah, back Thank you that my work. eyes yeah. still work. Yeah, you be grateful for everything because that's one of the mm -hmm. most important things is when I, I, I tell God, I thank you for yes, life, strength, and health. Another day. Yes. You know, and I pray that the Lord will help you to see another day. And I hope that um, this show is a blessing to you that if you have anything in your home or whatever you practice if you be, is not right, biblically not right, then I would encourage you to try and make the changes today you know tomorrow is not promised to no man if you don't know the Lord I encourage you to please get to know him today and see you same time next week same station Musgrove Music Gospel TV God bless you and thank you once again for joining us peace peace peace
return Oh, let the glory return to His heart Let the glory return to Your house Return to Your house Let the glory return with Cardell Realty and I'm very excited to be sharing this property and the testimony of the owner with you. So if you come on in with me, I'll introduce you to the owner in just a few minutes. Are we ready? I think he's going to cut. Hey, Mr. How are you? I know I surprise you, but as you know, you get ready to close. And before you leave, I just want to have a testimony of our experience that we had. Because wonderful, wonderful. We purchased and now we're selling. This is a beautiful three bedroom, two bathroom in the heart of the Hollywood Hills. And even the office space also. You actually have a four bedroom if you decide to put in closets. Four <laughs> <laughs> months. <laughs> We've knocked down all the walls. Uh, the ceiling that had popcorn ceiling. Come in and just take a look at the uh, bathroom. Now we're going to the second bedroom. Come on in. Check it out. And this room also, we've totally upgraded everything. Uh, the ceilings, the walls. New window treatment. We actually have hurricane proof windows throughout the whole house. Yes. Sliding glass, hurricane proof everything. You see I'm into my... Affirmation. <laughs> Affirmation. I love it. I love it completely. Now we're going into my, my daughter's room. I remember when we came for the walkthrough, one of the twins said, oh my God, it is so small. 
What are they saying now? They love it. They actually love it. It's amazing what you can do, you know, with, with people helping you do the walls, the floors, everything's been done over. So it's really, it's really become a beautiful home. With the house now, it's a beautiful home. Indeed. Love and I'm it. I'm so happy she found me this beautiful home and I love it. I am very happy you took my advice when I said, Mr. Harris, this is a house. Exactly. And then you're going to make it into your home. Thank you. That is, and she said that. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually the final bedroom that could be converted into a bedroom. All it needs is a closet. Come check it out. That's a very big space. It is, it is. So this is very So easy. this is where the mastermind works, huh? Exactly. <laughs> yeah, I started to put in a pool, but we're gonna look for one that's all, already has a pool. Yes. Sorry again for the surprise visit, <laughs> but we found a buyer in no time. Okay. I know we're going to a closing in less than what? Less than 15 days. Right. Less than 15 days. Right, we'll be going to closing. Yes. They saw the property within two days they were putting in a contract. Yes. Listing contract to closing in less than 15 days. Thanks to Miss Musgrove. Mr. Harris, thank you again for your thank time. Thank you so much, Miss Musgrove. And I'll see you on Tuesday for closing. Tuesday at closing. All right. Ching, ching. <laughs>